Hola. Uh, Hello guys, good Hello. evening. Hello everybody, good to see you. Hello, Hi, Manuel. Hello, Manuel, Danilo, Arabella, Silvia, Astrid, and Guadalupe. Good to see you. Thank you so much for being punctual. Let's start. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Let's go over the lesson. Vamos a la lección. To not waste too much time, right? And to take advantage to take of the time as much as we can. So I'm going to start with the attendance, right? Arabella is here. Arabella? Me, aquí, yo. <laughs> okay, Arabella, thank you. Astrid? Present <laughs> teacher. Okay, Astrid, thank you. And uh, Cesar? Cesar? Cesar, Cesar, no. Okay. Let's see, uh, Cynthia de Jesus? No. And Daniel Alexander? No. And uh, Daniel Ernesto? Present thank teacher. You. Okay, thank you. Gladys Jamilet. Gladys Jamilet, no. Eh, Guadalupe del Carmen. Guadalupe del Carmen. Yes, teacher. Okay, Guadalupe. Eh, Carla Lisset. Carla Lisset. No. Catherine Merali. Catherine Merali, no. And uh, Luz de Maria. Luz de Maria. No. Manuel de Jesus Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Meredith Janet. Meredith Janet. No. Um, Oscar Antonio. Oscar Antonio. Oscar, no. Reina Guadalupe. Reina Guadalupe. Reina, Reina. No. Okay. Eh, Santos Manuel. Yes, same teacher. Okay, thank you. And uh, Silvia Betsabel. Silvia Betsabel. Present, present teacher. Okay, thank you. Okay, guys, good to see you. Welcome back. So let's go over the lesson. Vamos a la lección. And uh, give me just a second. Vamos a hacer un review of what we studied yesterday. Un repaso de lo que estuvimos estudiando el día de ayer, right? Ok, vamos a hacer un quiz, right? Vamos a hacer un quiz. Así que les voy a pedir que vayamos al... Vayamos, vayamos al grupo de WhatsApp. Les voy a compartir ahí el enlace. Y ustedes... Veamos... Ok, y ustedes acceden, right? Ok, let's see. Ok, aquí está. Entremos a este enlace, please, guys. Me indican si lo pueden ver. Let me know if you can see it. Yeah, I see you. I see. I see, I see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ah, de los jueguitos aquellos, teacher. <laughs> sí, los jueguitos son. Yes, sí, ese es chivo. Te damos a empezar. 
No, todavía solo no. Chat, Yo tengo. Solo en el chat está. Aquí en el, en el WhatsApp. En el, en el chat WhatsApp, no. sí. En el WhatsApp. En el WhatsApp. Puedo compartir en el, en el chat de Zoom. El chat para, por favor. Ok, ok, no problem. Ahí está. There it is. Eh, okay, entramos vaya. ahorita. Yes, please. You can log in, guys. You can log in the game, please. Let's see. Vemos how many we are. Vemos el nombre, teacher. Sí, escribamos el nombre. Exactly. Todavía no le ponemos a empezar. Eh, no, 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 no. No. Ay, Dios, yo ya le di. ¿Está haciendo el juego? No, no, no. No, no. Solo le di a empezar, pero no, 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 no. No, no parece, no, no le parece, ok. Vale, nos avisa cuando ponga a empezar. Para okay. nosotros, para yo poner. Vaya. ¿Cuántos hay en el juego? ¿Qué, ¿Qué hacemos? Estoy dentro. Ok, ya. Ahorita solo vamos a esperar que se unen los compañeros. Y luego vamos a empezar el juego. Hola. Hola, hello. Hola. Sí, estoy dentro del juego. Okay. Espero que entren todos. Eh, yo, lo, yo voy a empezar el juego, ok. Ok. I will start the game, no problem. Pero no veo... ¿Cuántos están en el juego? Veamos, ah, eh, Maribel. Cuatro Abby, estamos Maribel. dentro. ¿Solo cuatro? Okay, o sí. sea, que hay que darle a empezar para que se vean todos adentro. No, no, tenemos, ok, ahí no. están. Habemos comprando. seis. Seis, ok. Meredith, what about you, Meredith? Maribel, César, are you in the game? ¿Estamos en el juego? Yes. yes. Empezamos ahorita, no. Eh, yes. No, yet, no, no, yet. no le he dado a empezar todavía, pero sí estoy en el enlace. Ok, También. you are in the link. Ok, hi teacher, no, ok, Meredith, necesito que ingresemos Meredith. And the others, Guadalupe también. Ok, vámonos entonces to the game. Ahorita, vamos a empezar. ¿Ya? Ok, veamos. Todavía creo que se están uniendo algunos. Creo que... Yo me estoy uniendo. Ok. Vamos, Luz, ¿cómo vamos? ¿Ya estamos? Ya. ¿Guadalupe también? Sí, ya. ¿Y a dónde aparece? ¿Y a dónde aparece? ¿Cuántos se han conectado? Fíjense que a mí me al tendría juego. que aparecer. Pero estamos nueve. No sé por nueve. Qué. Arriba estamos. dice al lado izquierdo, arriba. A, a mí no me aparece, a mí no me aparece. No, a mí no. no. Ok, debe ser algún problema de internet. Okay. Vámonos entonces, let's start the game. El último que okay. quede, it's a penalty, right? It's wow. going to dance. El último, the last person. Okay, let's go.
Teacher. Teacher. Hola, terminamos. Este, me salió como tipo un pajarito rojo. Y se repite una pregunta que Terminamos. Hay dije, I win. Ok, vea, ok, veamos entonces, Manuel, qué pasó. Ok. Ok, veamos. Sí, Cherry, igual me apareció un pajarito rojo. ¿Qué? A ver. Ah, dele, dele. Repite en el una punto, pregunta. Punto uno. Ajá, puede ah, elegir una o dos. Quitó. Ah, ok, ok. Ya, César, ya, ya, Danilo, ya congratulations. No ya terminamos el juego. Danilo, yeah. first place, second place. César, el tercero, third place, Maribel. Arabella. Ok, Danilo perdió. Yo también. There are two Danilos, hay dos Danilos por acá. Ok, ok. Estamos bastante bien, guys. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Uh -huh. A mí me sale 40%. 40% quizás de las preguntas. Ah, ¿y aquí qué le tengo que dar? Me Ahorita ya. Estadística. Ya estuvo. Sí, ya estuvo, ya estuvo, ya estuvo. Así que así lo puede dejar. Ok. Let's bueno. continue, guys. Let's continue. Decimos el review. Vimos el timing yesterday. Vimos el tiempo ayer, right? How to say the time. In English. Okay, what time is it, Cesar? Do you know what time is it? What time it is? Do you know the time? It's uh, 8.12. It's 8.12, okay, very good. Okay, it's 8.12, okay, thank you. Okay, let's continue with the topic. Well. Ok, ya vimos what time is it. Ahora vámonos con el tema de este día, que es how to use prepositions of time. Ese es el tema, that is going to be the topic. Y aparte de las prepositions of time, vamos a ver otras prepositions. Ok, that is going to be the main objective. El objetivo, the objective, is going to be Participants will be able to use the prepositions of time. Ese va a ser nuestro objetivo in this class. Okay, contamos entonces los prepositions of time. Can you help me read, Maribel, please? Me ayuda a leer, Maribel. Can you help me read? Prepositions of time. Mm -hmm. In, at, on. Mm -hmm. Introduction. There are three prepositions in English that are used with time in, at, on. Generally, in shows the largest time or place. On. Mm -hmm. On shows they and time in, at, Usually, shows the smallest time or place. Ok, there you have. Ok, veamos es, las preposiciones, el uso de estas preposiciones como un triangle. Donde el más general va a ser in, el que le sigue va a ser on, y luego el más específico que va a ser at. Vamos a ver entonces eh, con qué palabras, words, can we use. Tenemos, por ejemplo, la preposición at. Lo vamos a utilizar with time. Por ejemplo, for example, we have at 12 o'clock. At noon. Vamos a ver another expression. Otras expressions que podemos utilizar con at. Tenemos at night. No decimos in the night. A veces confundimos eso. Es at night. At Christmas. And at the age of. Esas son el, las palabras que podemos utilizar con at. Ahora, ¿qué pasa si tenemos on? On lo vamos a utilizar with dates, con fechas, en days, en días. For example, tenemos on January, on Saturday, tenemos el día Saturday, right? On Christmas, es, días específicos, right? On Christmas Day. 
Ok, veamos el in. El in lo vamos a utilizar con a period of time, con un periodo de tiempo. Por ejemplo, in a few minutes, en unos cuantos minutos. In five weeks, in five months, etc. También lo podemos utilizar con los eh, años, right? In the 1960s, para centuries. In the 20th century, in December. And in sure. 2010, yes? Uh, please, you re repeat uh, dates, days, different. Okay, dates and days, vamos a utilizar el on, we're going to use on. No, the repeat is similar, the dates and idea. days. Ah, porque se usa on January y in December. Ok, that, I was going to explain that. Estaba punto de explicar eso. Ok, si se fijan acá, if you notice here, vamos a utilizar in December, por ejemplo, cuando sea algo general, right, December. Pero si tenemos acá, por ejemplo, on January, tenemos una fecha bien específica. Entonces, that is the difference. Aquí no tenemos una teacher, fecha en específico, but here we have it with on. Uh -huh. es una, una pregunta, uh -huh. por, por ejemplo, cuando nosotros decimos... Yo me casé, eh, digamos, un ejemplo, en noviembre o diciembre, ¿cómo se, 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 uh, se usa este in? Un Ay, ejemplo, así, no, en I el caso que in. dice, I got married, se me dijo en diciembre, digamos. En, ajá, digamos, diciembre. In December, ajá. in December, ah, sí, in December. Pero si usted me dice, ah, yo me casé el diciembre, en diciembre 13, entonces Ay, allá. Voy a utilizar el on. On December 13. Mm -hmm. okay. O sea, teacher, que el in es como para finalizar, dar un algo exacto, el in. El, y el on, on es para El on es para... Es para el on, lo, el, el, el in es no. más general. Ajá, el in es más general, pero como para finalizar, como por decirlo así, exactamente, solo decir solo el mes. Solo el mes, exacto. Y, ajá, y para darlo en on, es, para usarlo en on, sería así con fecha, así con como fecha. dice ahí. Exacto, yes. That's right. That's the idea, yes. Ok, no questions, guys. No sé si hay más dudas, questions. No, esto es bien yes. importante, así que keep in mind, it's important that section, porque a veces confundimos, a veces decimos, ah, teacher, mi cumpleaños es en diciembre, my birthday is in, in December 13, entonces ahí está mala la preposición, ¿verdad? Porque está dando una fecha específica, entonces es on. Ok, let's continue. See, it's very important. But let's continue with more information. Ok. El libro nos presenta this information, right? Nos presenta también que lo podemos utilizar con estas expressions. Por ejemplo, on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in El Salvador, on San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Y at, también, ¿verdad? At the meeting, at work, con places, con lugares, en at the bank. bank. Uh -huh. Son como las palabras que podemos utilizar con each of them. Por ejemplo, in, si se fijan, es bastante general, para right? In El Salvador, pero ¿a dónde? Ok, y acá ya nos dice on, ya nos dice como algo un poco más específico. Y at, ya nos está diciendo mucho más específico. Okay, entonces, ¿Qué quiere decir, teacher? Perdón, neighborhood, in the neighborhood, ah. en el vecindario. Ah, el vecindario. In the neighborhood, yes. Ok, let's practice. Vamos a practicar entonces with this information. Ok, tenemos uh, this email. Ustedes me van a ayudar a completarlo with in, on y at. Okay, let's start. Uh, Maribel, you're going to do the first one. Read it, please. Hmm? 
Where? Where? Here. Are you busy? Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Are you busy on Monday? On? Monday afternoon, okay? okay? Okay, Manuel, what about you? Continue, please. Um, it start. Oh, uh, here, here, here. Ah, do you know about the new product? Come on, product. Product, product. Uh -huh. Product that the Vaya. company launches. Launches. Mm -hmm. Launches. Ah, there, there, there are. Presentation. There's, there's a presentation. There, uh, there's a presentation about it, and it sounds very interesting. It starts. Sería. Quiero ver. In. Lo no. utilizamos con la hora. At. 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 Yes. Sería at. Okay. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. No problem. Uh, Cesar, please. I work. I work until 5.45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of, mm -hmm. of Pierce Avenue and Main Street. Okay, very good. Uh, Astrid, please continue. What do you think? Um, what do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be um, on March. Yes. On March. Mm -hmm. um, on March. In Saturday. On March on Sunday. Okay. Sería on Sunday in or Sunday. in Sunday? In Sunday. In Sunday. What do you think, guys? ¿Qué sería? Sería in Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. On Sunday. Sunday. I sería in March, on Sunday. No, in Sunday. In, in Sunday. Sunday. I, I don't know. On March, in Sunday. On March, on, on Sunday. March, on Sunday. Every month. Mm -hmm. In Sunday. Vamos nuevamente, nuevamente. Let's go. In. Tenemos on. In March. In March. Uh, okay. Ah, sí, no dijo día, exacto. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería, ok, let's come back. Tenemos entonces oh. que el in es para algo, un mes, pero no tenemos algo específico. Y tenemos entonces el on que lo vamos a utilizar con los días. Entonces, ¿cómo nos on quedaría? Sunday. In March. March on Sunday. Yes. In March. In March. Mm -hmm. In March, on, on Sunday. On, on Sunday. Sunday. Yes. Mm. Okay, ahí está. Very good, guys. Así como aprendemos. Very good. That is how we learn. Esas son las prepositions of time, right? In, on, at. Recordemos, vayamos, revisemos nuevamente. Review que okay? utilizamos el on con dates and days. Okay, no nos olvidemos de eso con los días de la semana, también con días específicos, on, y el in con los meses, por ejemplo, con los años también, en el 2020, in 2020, in no lo vamos a decir, es in 20, ok, let's continue, vamos a seguir practicando, ok, vamos a tener this reading, let me just, no sé si lo pueden ver o si quieren que lo haga un poquito más grande, let me know. Yes. Yes, a little bit bigger. Bigger, guys. Bigger? Okay, give yes. me just a second. Me voy a compartir this one. Okay. Ok, ahí cómo, cómo se ve ahí? Better? Mejor? Yes. Better. Ok, Better. vamos entonces. Let's go and help me read. It says, What is it like to have a house guest? Maya is away, but her friend Kathy is her house guest for the weekend. 
breathe my snow to Kathy. Do you think Kathy is happy right now? Okay, vamos a leer this together. Can you help me? Let's see. Can you help me? Um, Daniel, please. No sé si está ahí. Daniel, can you help me, Daniel? Hola, hola, Daniel. Is, are you there? Está ahí. No? Okay. Can you help me? Astrid, please. Can you help me? Okay. Um, hi, Katy. Uh, I'm happy you're in the apartment this weekend. My cat uh, flu, fluffy? Fluffy? Glad. Fluffy? <laughs> My cat oh, fluffy. Okay. My cat fluffy. <laughs> It's glad you're here too. Please use my bedroom. Clean to clean towels, 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 mm -hmm. towels and sheets are in the closet. There's an extra blanket in the drawer under the bed. Okay, it's an extra blanket in the drawer under the bed. Okay, help me, Guadalupe. Guadalupe, Juarez, please. Juarez. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry, the refrigerator, refrigerator, refrigerators, mm -hmm. and bus, the supermarket, mm -hmm. up the street, the car, K are on top of the Refrigerator, the car, house, house, guys, bus, the gas station, close, long, two blocks, away on May Street. Okay, thank you, Guadalupe. Okay, tenemos la palabra but, que es pero, but. But, tenemos la palabra, for example, across. Across, que es al cruce de cross. Tenemos la palabra on the top of, como al encima o al borde de. And uh, tenemos eh, la palabra on, ¿verdad? Que está acompañado con una avenida o Main Street. Main ok, Main Street. Let's continue. Can you help me, Danilo? Ok. The, the TV in the cabinet near the window, the remote controls on the control next to the coffee maker. I think the battery are dead. Are dead. Dead. Están muertas, ya no sirven, ya no funcionan. Are dead. For example, my cell phone is dead. Ya no trabaja, my cell phone is dead. O ya no sirve, right? Okay, uh, continue, please. Can you continue? Uh, Manuel, please. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. okay. I'm sorry about the cat food on the floor. Fluffies, very miss. Messy. Very messy. Messy. Messy, very messy. messy. Desordenado, okay, very, very messy. messy. The, very messy. Teacher, yes, I can't pronounce it. Back, the vacuum? Back, no, back, the back, vacuum? Ah, the vacuum. The vacuum cleaner in the closet. It's all, but it works. Continue. Sí. The cleaning supplies. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cleaning su supplies are behind mm -hmm. the plant. The Garbage. The, uh, the garbage cans are outside mm -hmm. the front door, the front door in front of the car. Of the garbage, garbage. The gar ah, the garage. Oh, the garage, the uh, garage. Sorry. The garage. Uh -huh. the garage. See you on okay. Sunday. Every the come. ¿Qué dijo? See you on Sunday. Evening, my bus arrive 
at arrives five arrives at five thirty p.m. So expect be to expect expect me between between six o'clock and seven o'clock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Love mm, Maya. Maya. Maya, huh? P.S. I I'm at my sister house. Help, you know. This is my house. Her her phone number is two one two five 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 uh, eight seven four nine. Okay. There we have. Tenemos algunas prepositions acá, right? Tenemos, por ejemplo, la preposición behind que es atrás, behind or behind. Behind or behind. Then, then we have the, the, the preposition outside, que es afuera, outside something. Y está la otra que la van a ver más adelante, que es inside. Lo opuesto de outside, right? Inside, adentro. Ok, tenemos... Ten... Yo me equivoqué donde dice garaje y... Oh, garbage y en garage. Y, y la otra. Tenemos la... Que, que es, gar, garbage que, cans garage. son como los botes de basura. Uh -huh, de garbage. Ah, y el otro es garaje. Y el otro es garage. Uh -huh. Y vacuum. What the vacuum. 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 Es la aspiradora. Mm -hmm. Luego tenemos eh, between, right? Between lo vamos a utilizar entre dos, entre dos objetos también. Entre, entre las seis y las siete. So expect me between six and seven. Así que espérame entre las seis y las siete. See you on Sunday evening. My bus arrived mm -hmm. at five. Tenemos la expresión so, también out of gas, que es que no tenemos gas, right? Sin gas, without gas. Without. Gas. Without. Without the gas. Sin. Sin. Ok. So, guys, based on the reading, based on the reading, you're going to help me to complete the following exercise. Les voy a compartir la lectura para que ustedes la puedan leer. With me, right? For you to read uh, with me. Okay, here it is. The reading, let me know if you can see it. Y vamos a completar together the exercise, okay? There it is. Nice. In the chat book. Okay, let's go. Let's see. Oh, no, this is not. Where am I here? Okay. So let's do it together, the exercise. It says, vamos a match the two parts of the sentences. So vamos a unir, right? Vamos a match the two parts of the sentences. Okay. Maya is, what is Maya, guys? ¿Dónde está Maya? is on the floor at her sister's house, in the closet, out of gas, or in the apartment. Where is Maya? In the apartment. Mm -hmm. In the apartment? Oh. No. What in is no, Maya? On the floor. In the, no, in the sister's, sister's house. house. At okay. the sister's Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. her. Yes, right. <laughs> it is at her sister's house. At her sister's house. Yes, right. At her sister's house. At her sister's house. The car is. ¿Dónde está el carro? Where is the car? No, the car is of out of gas. Oh yes, the car is out of okay. gas, right? At gas. Yes. Okay. What about the cat food? ¿Dónde está the cat food? Where is the cat food? On the floor. Cat food. What is the cat food? On the floor. On the floor. Oh, the cat food is on the floor. 
the cats on the floor. Floor. What about the clean towels? Where are the clean towels? In, In the, the closet. Towel. In the closet. In the closet, okay. And Kathy is on the stack. Kathy, where is Kathy? In the, the par apartment. In, in, in the apartment. In the apartment, okay. Ahora ustedes me ayudan with these prepositions, con las prepositions que nos hacen falta. Clean towels and sheets are, ¿dónde? Where? In, in the on, at, under. In the, uh -huh. in, in the closet. In. in the closet, right. The car keys are, the car keys um. are, on top on of. top of right on top of on top of yes. top. the remote control is on the stand where is the remote control on the counter on the counter next on the uh -huh. counter next to coffee maker on the con mm -hmm. the remote next. control on the con Okay. On, next on, to, on the counter next to, next to what about my bus? My bus arrives at teacher number uh, four. At, see you. Oh, see you. See you, you on, on, on see you yes, on Sunday. On Sunday, on, on Sunday, Sunday yes. evening. evening. What about my bus? At, 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 yes, at, at. at. Very good. Okay, no questions. Let's continue. Vamos entonces with the prepositions cuando estamos hablando del neighborhood. Cuando estamos hablando del vecindario. Okay, Cesar, can you help me please? Prepositions? Uh, Prepositions. The position can, can show place. They can tell you where someone or something is. Continue. The remote control is next to the coffee maker. My home is near the train station. Yes, right. Tenemos next to, otra preposition que es a la par de next to. Next to, tenemos la siguiente, near, es cerca. Near the, near the train station. Okay, vamos a ver some others we have. Let's see examples. Can you help me, Danilo, please? Can you help me? Hello, Danilo. Mm -hmm. Hola. Can you, yes, can you help me reading? Me ayuda a leer. Things at home. Things at home. Uh, mm -hmm. The vacuum cleaner is in the closet. Okay, vamos a entendernos ahí. In, adentro, right? In, adentro de algo. In. Okay, continue, Danilo. The shoes are under the bed. The shoes are under the bed, the back, right? Under something. Okay. Okay, continue. The bottle is on the refrigerator. Okay, and see mm -hmm. The border is on top of the refrigerator. The same, right? El mismo significado, on and on top of. Or for example, on the table. On the table, mm -hmm. Okay, a four. Mm -hmm. The cleaning supplies are be, 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 behind. Behind? Behind the plant. Behind the plant, yes. The cleaning supply are behind the plan. Are behind, the detrás, right? Behind. Tenemos dos behind. pronunciations, behind or behind. Both are okay. okay. Let's continue, Danilo. Help me with this one. Uh, the the, shelf, the, the shelf, shelf, shelf is above the refrigerator. Okay, este above, lo vamos a utilizar, por above. ejemplo, above, Lo vamos a utilizar cuando no toque la superficie. A diferencia del on, que sí lo toca, está tocando la superficie. For example, veamos this one. Esto está en, justo encima de la mesa, right? ¿Qué voy a utilizar? ¿Voy a utilizar on or above? 
¿Qué sería, guys? Si lo está, si lo está tocando acá. ¿Qué sería? Sería on. Si lo está tocando, on, on the table. On. Y on si, the lo tiene, table. si lo tengo así, y if, if I have a ball. Above. 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 Exactly. Teacher, mm -hmm. Above. Above. Yes, above. Okay. Above. Next. Mm -hmm. The book is next to the lamp. Mm -hmm. The lamp next. is near the window. Yes, right. Tenemos entonces next to a la par, right? También the lamp is near, es cerca, cerca, cerca de, también. Okay, continue, Danilo. The gar garbage mm -hmm. can is in front of the garage. Okay, tenemos the preposition in front of, en frente de. Okay, continue, Danilo. The, ca the car case are between the watch and the wallet. The, the wallet. The wallet. Okay, when we use between, significa, it means entre. Pero este between lo vamos a utilizar cuando tengamos solamente dos objetos, right? No more. Uno entre, ah, okay. Como Solo hay dos objetos. Los del carro ¿no? están entre uh -huh. el reloj y la cartera. Exacto. Solo cuando. Del Pero. The lamp is between the book and, and window. And the window, ok. Muy and bien. The and the window. Dos objetos, nada más. Pero usted puede decir, ¿y qué pasa si tengo más de dos objetos, teacher? En el caso que tengamos more than two objects, podemos utilizar eh, esta preposición que es among. Among. O sea, la podemos utilizar cuando tenemos más de dos objetos, more than two objects. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, that's good, guys. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue with some prepositions, right? Okay, tenemos this one. Can you help me, uh, Astrid, please? Can you help me? Mm. Thing in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Things in, in the neighborhood. Okay. Mm -hmm. In front of. Mm -hmm. The men is in front of the bakery. Mm -hmm. Between the van is between the restaurant and the delis deli, delicatessen. Delicatessen, yes. Delicatessen. Mm -hmm. Continue. Behind the car is behind the building. The building, okay. The building mm -hmm. across from the woman is across from the bank. Yes, what the a woman. mini delica delicatessen. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Okay, let me show you delicatessen. I'm gonna show you a picture. Delicatessen. Okay, give me just a second. Okay. Let's go and start as a picture. This is más que todo for people who like. Gourmet things, cosas gourmet, cosas bastante finas, delicate, delicate, delicados, uh, right? Okay. Okay. It's a type of brand, es una, este, le gustan las cosas delicate, this is a good place to go. Okay, that's an example. Okay, let's continue, vámonos entonces, with more examples, right? Okay, there it is. Okay, thank you, Astrid. Can you help me? Let's see, uh, Meredith, please. Can you help me? Meredith? Okay, hello, Meredith, está ahí? Hi, teacher. Okay, can you help me? Me ayuda a leer. Yes, uh, next to Neil. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, the coffee shop is next to? The post office mm -hmm. outside. Outside. Yes. Oh, the, near, near. Falto near. Oh, the coffee shop is near the bakery. Okay, near the bakery. Continue, Meredith. Outside, 
the garbage can is outside the door. Okay, can, right? The garbage can is outside the door. Okay, continue, continue, Meredith. At the children are at the zoo. At the zoo. At the zoo. Mm -hmm. Está en el zoológico. Okay, continue. Inside the at the ATMs. Uh, the ATM is the are, ATMs are uh, the the ATMs mm -hmm. are inside the bank. Are inside los cajeros automáticos, right? The ATMs are inside the bank. Okay, no questions about the prepositions, guys. El significado de las prepositions, no questions. Across, 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 across means al cruce de. Okay, thank you. Okay, so vamos a ver entonces cómo hacer preguntas, por ejemplo. How we can, we can create questions. Por ejemplo, si queremos decir, cuando estamos hablando de singular, when we are talking about singular, we are going to use the questions, where is, right? Where is the book? ¿Dónde está el libro? Where is the book? En el caso que solo sea uno, where is the book? Podemos responder, it is on the table. O también podemos responder, the book, the book is on the table. Por ejemplo, eh, Meredith, where is the bank in ya your digo. country? Meredith, where is the bank, Meredith? ¿Dónde está el banco, Meredith? Where is the bank? The bank. Mm -hmm. The bank. The bank is across. Uh -huh. Meredith, ¿dónde está el banco? Um, uh -huh. yeah. Where is eh, the bank? Ponga la imagen. Oh. La imagen, a uh honey. -huh. No, donde se vive, oh. where you live. Oh. Donde se vive, okay. The uh -huh. bank is. In, mm -hmm. in the market, supermarket. Oh, in the supermarket. Okay, in the supermarket. Okay, very good, Arabella and Melody. Okay. okay. Ahora, si tenemos plural, varios objetos, más de uno, por ejemplo, vamos a utilizar where are the books. Recordemos la palabra. No <laughs> Recordemos la palabra, tiene que ir con ese, right? Where are the books? Where are the books? Si no le agregamos la S, the question oh. is incorrect. La pregunta está incorrecta. Okay. Don't forget that. Podemos responder, they are, they are on Main Street, por ejemplo. On Main Street. Oh, they, yeah. are, <laughs> they are on the table. I need oh, coffee. <laughs> or the books are on the table, right? Pero no nos olvidemos que tiene que concordar, right? They have to match. Okay. Plural. Eh, tiene que ser with R. It has to be with R. Okay. No questions. No questions, guys. No. No question. Okay. Perfect, Arabella. Thank you. Let's continue. We're going to practice. Okay, here yes. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm okay. Ready. Now let's describe this picture. Okay. It says, "Vamos a utilizar." We are going to use these words, right? Vamos a utilizar these words. Tenemos coffee maker, el counter, tenemos el door, floor, and gym, gym bag, refrigerator, and table. Tenemos a Sean. I need my cell phone. Where is it? ¿Dónde está el cell phone? Where is the cell phone? Uh, cell phone. 
on the table. It is? It is on the table. It's on the okay. table. It is on the table or it's on the table, okay. Thanks. Now, where is my gym bag? Where is my gym bag? I don't understand. Where is it? It's, it's, in, floor. it's in front. Floor. In the floor. It's on the floor. It's in? Floor. Adentro de it's... No. Yeah, in oh, or on. It's on the floor. On the floor. floor. On, on, the floor. floor. on the floor. Continue. Okay. And uh, oh, I need my wallet. Where oh. is my wallet? No, see, no, see. It's Where is the wallet? under the table. Yes, perfect. It's under the table. The table. It's and under the keys? table. And my keys? Where are my keys? Your keys. Mm -hmm. It's on. Um, it's. Será que keys es uno? They are. No. Mm -hmm. They are. On. Bach. Jim Bach. They are. Where are the keys? ¿Dónde están las keys? I don't see the keys. Sobre the way. Uh huh. On what? Where are the keys, guys? No, feo. I don't see the keys. Oh, Oh, oh yes, here, right. I'm sorry, Manuel. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? No, Manuel. No, no, no. Penalty for you. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, they are. They are they, on. They on are on the back. back. On the gym back, right? On uh, the gym back. Okay. And uh, where is my laptop? Where is my laptop now? Where is my laptop? It's uh, on this the refrigerator. It's on on top of oh. it's on. It's mm -hmm. on. The refrigerator, right? Or on top of. Okay, is the newspaper outside the front door? What about that one? Is the newspaper outside the front door? It's behind the door. Mm. Behind. Mm. ¿Cómo podemos responder eso? How can we answer that, guys? Behind the door. <laughs> Is a newspaper outside the front door? No. Recordémonos. Are... No. It is. It is. No nos olvidemos. That is another question. Vamos a ver uh, esta pregunta. Is next the, the... It's... It's next the... It's... Next... Next the... 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 It's... Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, it's behind behind the door. The door. The door. Yes, the it's door. behind the door. And uh, what are my books uh, for school? What are my books for school? It's on. They are books. The, books. Books. They are. Uh -huh. on, they are. Ah, uh, they are on the. Mm -hmm. Table. Gabnet. Ah, oh, no, the counter. They are on the counter, counter. right? Counter. Next to coffee maker. Next to coffee maker. También, they are next to coffee maker. They are next to coffee maker. Coffee maker, también. And how yeah. about a cup of coffee? Where is the coffee? What? Where is the coffee? Where is the coffee? Where is the coffee? Coffee maker. Coffee. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is the coffee? Near the book. It's and next to? Next, next. next. It can be next to? Next to? to the book. Next the to book. the book. <laughs> There you have, guys. Ahí está. Bastante bien. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, guys. Estamos bastante bien. Nice. 
My okay, very good. Let's <laughs> next. Thank you. Next. Okay, let's continue. Okay, vamos a practicar entonces with the questions, right? Okay, vamos a write the questions. Vamos a escribir las preguntas. Por ejemplo, vamos a utilizar where. where. Okay, it says, where's his radio? ¿Dónde está su, rad su radio? It's on top of the refrigerator. Vamos a basarnos de acuerdo a la imagen. Ok, a la imagen que tenemos acá. Ok, let's do the next. Se van a hacer las próximas five, four questions. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo podemos hacer la number two? ¿Cuál es que uh -huh. Where is, the, is the watch? his watch? Ok. Where is the watch? Where's... His ah, watch. Where watch. Where is his watch, guys? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Where is his watch? It's on. It's uh, the table. Watch on the table. Mm -hmm. It's on the table. I'm sorry, Kevin. What's that? Oh, no. What's that? It's on the table. Okay, it's on the table. Now you are going to complete the question. Ahora ustedes completan the questions, right? ¿Qué pasó? Está fallando. Ahí está. Okay, let's go. Champán del bueno. Champán del bueno. Champán del bueno. Number two. Watch. Watch. Where? Where is this? Wait. <coughs> yes, it's it on the table. Hello. Glasses. Hey guys, did you finish or not yet? Hmm? You finish? No or yes? No, no. Not yet. Okay. Teacher. Yes. No compartió, la otra, no compartió la otra imagen, ¿verdad? Donde estaban las cosas. Oh, no, no, no. En, en WhatsApp. I'm going to share it. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. Here it is. See the next one. Okay. 
Third is. Thank you, Manuel. Champagne del Bueno. Number four. Glasses. Or hats on. Ah, los hands-ons, que son los hermanos libres, los audífonos. Hats-ons. Ah, este debajo, it on it. On the floor, it's on the floor. Champagne, the poem, notebook. Notebook. Okay, did you finish, guys, or not yet? Let me know, please. Yes, guys? Did you finish? Teacher, ¿Mm? clases, pero que no puede, ¿qué? Clases. ¿Mm -hmm? No lo veo. Let's see the glasses. Ok, let me check. Ok, let's see the glasses. Mm, mm, mm. Interesting. Oh, yes. I see the glasses. I see the glasses. They are there. The glasses. Mm -hmm. Ah, 
this year the it on okay let's do it together okay number 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 one number two and I see most right okay uh, Maribel help me with number three please number three Maribel your microphone Maribel Mm -hmm. Where are the glasses? Yes, where are the glasses? Mm -hmm. uh, what is the answer? They are on coffee maker. They are on the coffee, on the coffee maker. maker. Yeah. Okay, help me, Carla. Let's see. Can you help me? Is that Carla? Number four, Carla, ¿cómo nos quedó? Number four. Hi, teacher. Hello, Carla. Mal, estoy totalmente perdida porque no me había podido conectar. Ok, ok, no problem, Carla. Ok. Let's see Gladys Moreno. Number four, Gladys. Hola, Gladys. Hola, hola. Okay, pidámosle ayuda a Luz. ¿Estamos ahí, Luz? Hello. Hello, Luz. Estamos ahí. Hola, hola. No. Okay. Me ayuda, Silvia. Can you help me, please, Silvia? No, Silvia. Okay. Let's see. Can you help me, Guadalupe Juárez? Está ahí, Guadalupe. Are you there? Hmm? Hey, let's see, Cesar, number four, Cesar. Where's his headphones? Where's his headphones? Sure's, sure, Cesar. That's where mm -hmm. are his... Yes, right. Where, Where are, are, yes. Where are his headphones? Very good. Any mm -hmm. answer? Uh, they are. They are. On, under the under, chair. Uh, under the chair. The chair. Chair. Chair, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Help me. Maybe Manuel, the last one. Number five. Number five. Mm -hmm. Where are where are his notebooks? Mm -hmm. Where are his notebooks? Where are his notebooks? Mm -hmm. Are you sure, Manuel? Estamos seguros. Are you sure? Sí. Cien por ciento. One hundred. One hundred. Ay, es diez pechadas, Manuel. Diez I pechadas. Believe, I believe. I believe. <laughs> so, so. Ten push-ups. <laughs> okay. What do you think? Is it correct or? Notebook. Mm -hmm. Tenemos la palabra notebook. ¿Será singular o plural? Singular. No, plural. ¿Hm? Ah, plural. Ah, no, no, a ver, ¿por qué será plural? Where is book? Where notebook. sería is, where ¿verdad? Is Porque si fuera plural, llega, llevar notebook. una S. Sí, sería where, where is, is notebook. And then the answer, Manuel? La, the answer, ¿cómo nos quedaría, Manuel? The answer? Ah, the answer. It's mm -hmm. next to coffee maker. It's next to? It's next to, uh -huh. it's next to coffee maker. Coffee maker, perfect. Maker, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, ahí está. Tengamos cuidado, right? Con el is o con are. Yeah. Take care. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm. Okay, let's continue. Ya practicamos. Now you are going okay. to speak. Ahora ustedes son Where los que is... van a hablar a la right? No. Okay. Vamos entonces. Okay, ya vimos las prepositions, right? Ya las vimos la mayoría. Tenemos on. Vamos a utilizar on, por ejemplo, cuando decimos está sobre la avenida eh, Menéndez. Ese sería el on. 
eh, on the corner and esquina, right? Across from, cuando usted cruza de un punto a otro. Next to, a la par, y between los que ya vimos que necesitamos two objects. Ok, tenemos the department store is on Main Street. Vamos a ver la imagen. The department store. The department store. Veamos dónde está. Where is the department store? Where is the department store? Can you help me? It says that it is on Main Street. Where is the department store? Can you see the department store, guys? In front. Oh, Main. No. laughs, right? <laughs> Here. Okay, thank you, Meredith. Okay, it is on Mesta Sobre la Avenida Principal, right? On Main Street. Tenemos el siguiente. It's on the corner of Main Street. Otra forma. Ah, está en la esquina del Main Street en First. Está en la esquina de la First Avenue en Main Street. Okay, what about eh, it's across from the park? Otra forma de decirlo, right? It's across from the park. It's next to the bank. Otra forma de describirlo, donde está the de, de department store. It's next to the bank. Tenemos the bank is between. Tenemos el bank, right? It's between the department. Is between the department and store and the restaurant, okay? And the restaurant. Okay, no sé si hay dudas about this proposition, ya las estudiamos. But this is for you to practice. Okay, vamos a practicar entonces. Eh, César, tell me, me va a decir tres formas de cómo yo puedo encontrar un lugar, three ways. Todos van a hacer lo mismo, van a decir three where, three ways, del lugar que yo quiero saber. Okay, let's start with you, Cesar. Where is the U.S. post office? Three ways, tres formas, three ways. Is next to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Juan. Uh, okay. The U.S. Post Office is on Center Street. Mm -hmm. e and is mm -hmm. and is on the corner on Center Street and. Second Avenue. And Second Avenue, okay. Cesar, now ask a question of a place to a student. Choose a person. Santos Maribel. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ask for a place. Ask for a place, Cesar. Sería, where, where is the... Supermarket, P, PJ Supermarket. ¿Dónde está? Ah, PJ Supermarket. Eh, it's on Second Avenue. Eh, it's between Davis. Drugstore and the favorite shoes. Mm -hmm. One more. It's next to Davis Drugstore. <laughs> <laughs> it's to next. It's next to Davis Drugstore. Okay, now. Hey, Maribel, choose another person, please. Choose another person. Um, Meredith. Okay, Meredith. Are you there, Meredith? Está ahí, Meredith. Are you there? Hola, hola, Meredith. 
Hello? No está. Hi, okay. teacher. Oh, yes, yes, there it is. Go ahead. Um, uh, okay. Ask a question, please. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Maribel. La pregunta, the question. Where is... Um, um, Regency movie no sé, theater. Theater, theater. theater. Okay, me de tres formas, three ways. Uh, uh -huh. The it's Uh -huh. Across, no, 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 is in, in front uh -huh. the park. It's in front of the park. Uh -huh. Of the park. Of the park street. It's called street. Park street. Uh -huh. um, Another, otra forma. Is across mm -hmm. from favorite shoes. Oh, favorite shoes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And este mm -hmm. behind, yeah, verdad. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's behind. The city bank. Oh, it, it's behind the city bank. Okay. Choose another partner. Perfect, Meredith. Muy bien. Very good. Another partner, Meredith. And the last one. Y el último. Okay. Who? ¿Quién uh, es, Meredith? Su, su próximo es, eh, compañero. <laughs> Veamos. <laughs> Ahí está Manuel, ahí está Manuel que quiere Ay, participar. No, Meredith. No, ahí está Manuel. No, hay no present, hay no present. Seguí cantando. Yo aguanto todo. Y el champán. Así es. Así es. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Manuel, Manuel, go ahead. Yes. Ask the question just to like Manuel. This, just like this, teacher. Like this, like this, like this. Mm -hmm. What is the question, Meredith? Where, yeah. where to be? Yes. yes. When, mm -hmm. um, veamos. Where, mm -hmm. Dr. Hospital. Where is? Where is doctor's hospital? Okay, Manuel, please. Tres formas, three ways, Manuel. Okay, three forms. Okay. Mm -hmm. The doctor hospital is next to the is next to the USA post post office. Mm -hmm. Um is it It's it's on the corner of gas station. Mm -hmm. It's it's on the corner of Main Street. It says. Uh -huh. It's on it's the corner, on the corner. Uh -huh. of it's Center corner Street. Of... Street Center and First Avenue. Is in the corner? The center street and first avenue. It's on the corner of but pero ese gradio en la en la gasolinera. Right. Mm, ajá, okay. It, and outer me dice en las calles. Ajá. It's it's on the no between a teacher. Between, mm -hmm. It's on the between the it's first between avenue. solo between it's, ah it's between first avenue and 
center street. Okay, it can be all right. Okay, very good. Okay, guys, let's continue. Vamos a practicar one more exercise here. Y luego ustedes practican. Vamos a hacer una actividad de speaking. Okay, vamos entonces to this one. Vamos a escuchar. And de acuerdo al mapa, right? So los voy a compartir por WhatsApp. Based on the map, vamos a responder a dónde es que van these guys. Okay, se los comparto en WhatsApp para que al momento de estar escuchando, uh, you can complete the exercise. Okay, estamos listos, ready? Okay, let's go. Y recordemos, I repeat, de acuerdo al mapa, vamos a identificar los lugares donde van las personas que van in the listening, ok, in the listening, from the listening. Ok, let's go. Page 89, exercise 6, listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay. Thanks. Okay, guys, ready? One more time. Está, tenemos que poner un poquito de atención, right? No nos dicen el lugar, tenemos que identificarlo de acuerdo al mapa. Okay, and the champagne, ready? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not ready, not ready. <laughs> Yeah, ok, one more time, okay. guys. One more time. Una vez más. Yes. Ok, Daniel. Se los comparto cuando terminemos el, el the exercise, ok? Daniel. Ok, let's go. Page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise 5. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency Movie Theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. Four. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. 
On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Hey. Okay, guys, let's identify the place. Vamos a identificar el lugar. Okay, el primer lugar. What is the, the first place that this person needs to go? City Bank. Restaurant. Restaurant. Okay. Restaurant. ¿Cuáles fueron las direcciones? What, what, what was the address? It says on... Second Avenue. Uh -huh. It is City Bank. Okay, dijo on Main Street. Main Street. Main Street. Yes. Uh -huh. First. Main Street across City Bank. Across. Across City, City Bank. Bank. Entonces, ¿a qué lugar mm -hmm. iba? Where does he go? Uh, Maria's restaurant. Maria's restaurant. Maria restaurant. Around, yes, right. Maria's mm -hmm. restaurant. Vamos a la number two. Yes. What, what was the description? Yes. What fue la description? It says near 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 what? Yeah, what? The, uh, what? What's the, the address? The address Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. It's Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Across what do you think, guys? No escucho muy seguros. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál fue la dirección? Yeah. Near what? Next to supermarket. PNG. No es Davis Drug Drug Store. Davis Drug Store. PNG Supermarket. Uh -huh. Okay, vamos a escucharlo nuevamente. Um, es que en la primera, en la primera escuché que dijo que estaba entre el María uh -huh. y el department. No era exacto. el sitio. Sí, exactamente. Uh -huh. Yo no escuché. Uh -huh. Exactly. Okay. Yo escuché Main Street. Vamos a escucharlo nuevamente. Okay, let's see. Don't worry, it's not worry. You're gonna listen this. El bueno. <laughs> okay, let's listen one more time. Cuando vamos a ver con la imagen así. We don't have problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen. Page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the page 89, exercise 6. Listening. Where is it? Look at the map in exercise five. Listen to four conversations. Where are the people going? One. Hmm. I think it's on Main Street. Is it near the Regency movie theater? Yes, it is. It's right across from the movie theater. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a restaurant there. Right. It's between Maria's restaurant and Luff's department store. Two. Is it near Maria's restaurant? Yes, it is. It's on 2nd Avenue, next to the supermarket. P&J supermarket? Yes, it's on 2nd Avenue, between Main and Center. Okay, thank you very much. Three. Where is it? Well, it's near the movie theater. So it's on Park Street? No, it's on Main Street, next to the bank. Is it on the corner of Main and 2nd? Yes, it is. It's across from the supermarket. Thanks. 4. Is it near the bookstore? No, it isn't. It's on 2nd Avenue, across from the movie theater. On the corner of Main and 2nd Avenue? Yes, that's right. It's next to Al's coffee shop. Okay, thanks. Okay, guys. Okay. Uh, all right, yes. Okay. Yes, the second. Yes. The second? second? Main Street and Second Avenue. Mm -hmm. What was okay. the place? What was the place? David's Drugstore. David's Drugstore, yes, exactly. It was David's Drugstore. La, la primera? 
The first yeah, one was yes, Maria City Bank. Maria City Maria. Bank. It was Maria. City Bank. It was City Bank. Uh, it was City uh -huh. Bank, guys. Uh -huh. La tercera es Maria uh -huh. Restaurant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Maria's Restaurant. Es la tercera. Yes, number three. Uh -huh. and la cuarta sería Favorite Shoes. Your Favorite Shoes, yes. Exactly. Les voy a compartir el audio en WhatsApp para que ustedes puedan escucharlo nuevamente. Ok, I'm going to share this, guys. Don't worry. Ok, very good, guys. Let's complete, let's finish the Page last 89. activity. Vamos a terminar la última actividad y vamos a hacer una speaking. We're going to work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar in pairs with this speaking activity. It's going to be super easy. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Eh, vamos a trabajar. Ask your partner about where things are in his or her home. Vamos a escribir, write six questions. And your partner is going to answer. Por ejemplo, imagínense que yo estoy trabajando with Meredith. Okay, y le pregunto a Meredith. Meredith, where is your bed? Y ella me responde, um, it's in the living room. It's next to the TV. Y así ustedes le van a ir preguntando using the vocabulary we have here and the questions we studied previously. Only six questions and then... Hacer, van a preparar una conversation, right? A conversation. Conversation. Eso es lo que vamos a preparar. Conversation. Six participation for each of you. Y luego vamos a cambiar. Ok. Let's go. Vámonos entonces. If no questions, guys. Si no, pues, let's start working. Let's go. Ya compartió la foto. Right now, right now, Manuel. Thank you. Okay. Right here it is. Let's go. Oh no, que estoy haciendo, que estoy haciendo. Yes, estoy bien, estoy bien. Okay. Manuel, what happened? Manuel, you have to be in the group. You need to be in the group. Guadalupe, where are you, Guadalupe? Sí, Guadalupe and Manuel, you have to go there. Okay, Guadalupe, where are you?
Hello, Astrid, Meredith, Gladys. Hello. 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 Teacher, the two, two answer or only on one answer. Okay, it has to be, for example, you are going to create six questions. Okay, then Meredith is going to answer you. And Meredith is going to ask you her questions and you are going to answer. Hey, teacher, eh, Astri dice que, o sea, por ejemplo, for example, hmm? eh, please answer. Mm -hmm. y, y tenemos que decir, o sea, dos respuestas en una. No. Okay, let, let me share. Ya les comparte, ya les comparto, no worry. Es que, where you to be in the living room. One answer. Two is next the bookshelf. Okay. Two answers. No. The first, la primera pregunta, the first question, imagínese que usted, Astrid, le pregunta a Meredith, where is your bed? Entonces viene Meredith y le dice, it's in the living room. It's next to the TV. En el caso que ella tenga la cama cerca del TV. Right? Uh -huh. Luego viene la segunda pregunta que usted le va a hacer, Astrid. Uh, where are your clothes? ¿Dónde está uh -huh. tu ropa? Meredith responde. Inside the closet. Serían seis preguntas y oh. las seis respuestas. Ah, entonces solo una, solo le decimos, it the, it's are inside the closet. Uh, uh, no, no. ¿Qué okay, sería? They are, ¿verdad? Porque clothes son varias. No, sí. Yes. They ah, are. They are. In the closet, digamos. They are in the closet. And the closet. The closet. Y they is, are inside the closet. Story. Inside también. Inside. Uh -huh. The closet is next to uh, the bed, digamos. The closet is next to the bed. In teacher, mm -hmm. bedroom es recámara. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Living room, sala. Sala. Mm -hmm. ah. Sí. Ok. Next ok. The bed. Ok. Ok. Recordemos que serían seis preguntas and six answers. Y luego cambiamos, right? Mm -hmm. Ok. Let's okay. work. Um, Hello, Cesar and uh, Silvia. Questions? Eh, ahí solo sería una, digamos, dos, eh, una, una, usted quiere una respuesta o dos respuestas juntas. Uh, the way it is in the example, así como está en el ejemplo. Uh -huh. mm, yeah. Ok, por ejemplo, digamos, Cesar le pregunta a Silvia: Silvia, what is your bed? What is your bed? Entonces, viene Silvia y le responde. It is in the, be, in the bedroom. Uh -huh. Bedroom. It is. It is next to or in front of the TV. In front of the TV. Oh, yeah. Esa sería una. Después hacemos las otras preguntas. Cuando ya César le haya preguntado a Silvia, ahora Silvia le va a preguntar a usted. O sea, oh, yeah. Siempre con las, con las palabras, con las palabras. Que yes. puesto allí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Podemos cambiar. Es una, es una pregunta y una respuesta. Yes. Uh -huh. de, de cada una, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exacto. ¿Cuántas son la mínima? Son seis, podemos... seis, seis. <risa> Ahorita vamos por la cuatro, señor. I'm so good. Four. Very good. Sound bastante bien. <risa> Very good. Ok, continue. Recordemos que los dos se van a preguntar, right? Both of you are going to, to ask. Uh, o sea que no. Hello, Daniel. Let's see if I can send you. You are working with Guadalupe, right? Let's see if you can enter. 
If you can log in. Hola, tengo no. problemas con tengo problemas con el Inter, se me desconecta por ratitos, por eso es que salgo y voy a subirme al palo de aguacate a agarrar el señal. <risa> ok, Daniel, no problem. Eh, solo recuerde la actividad, ¿verdad? Seis preguntas que usted le va a hacer a Guadalupe y ella también le va a hacer seis preguntas a usted. Ok. Ok, let's go. Yo creo que ya puede intentar eh, ver ahí. Va. Ahorita reviso las okay. preguntas. No, para unirse a la sala, Daniel. Tiene que unirse a la sala. Ah, ok. Ahorita no. busco la sala. Ok. Hello, Arabella and Manuel, are you ready? No, teacher. No yet? Why? What no, happened? Teacher. What teacher. happened? Yes. Teacher, pero cuando yo le pregunto a ella, si va, where is the coffee maker? Va, ¿dónde está la cafetera de ella? Y mm -hmm. ella me dice que la tiene en la cocina. Oh, it is in the kitchen. It is in the kitchen. Ajá, uh -huh. it is in the kitchen. Ahora, ¿dónde es que está específicamente dentro de la cocina? It is ah, bueno. next kitchen. to. Kitchen. Uh -huh. It is next to the oven, the microwave. Ajá. Uh -huh. Bye. Una vez usted, Manuel, le haya preguntado a Arabella, Arabella le va a hacer las preguntas a usted también. Y usted debe responder. Sí. sí. Ok, let's continue. Keep up. Working. Ok. Como Hello, <ríe> Maribel. Pues sí, y la novela. Sí, la novela está buena. Hola, teacher. Questions, ¿cómo vamos? Did you finish the six questions for each of you? Sí, es, uh -huh. eh, hicimos ya las preguntas, pero no sé si lo hicimos correctamente. Creo que. Mira, no hablando sé. de la novela, estaba. Hablando de la novela. Mm, Maribel. <ríe> no. Y de la serie de Netflix. Eh, Esa Netflix. estaba haciendo. La casa de papel, Carlos. Hicimos, por ver, ejemplo, no teacher, no Ajá, sé si nos, nos corrige, pero hicimos, uh -huh. por ejemplo, la pre, hicimos la pregunta, la primera pregunta, uh -huh. where is your telephone? Uh -huh. y, y la respuesta que... It It's on the, on the table and next to the notebook. Ok. Where is the, the okay, it's in, is it in the chicken, in the, in the kitchen, or is it in the living room, or no, in the bedroom? Room. Okay, it is in the bedroom next to? No, the cell phone on the table. Ah, tenemos que decir entonces el espacio. Mm -hmm. Ah, eso mm -hmm. es que no. Ah, okay. It is in the bedroom. Next to, ah, it is next to, next. Eh, no sé, a la parte que esté o qué uh -huh. otra proposición. Ah, entonces, por ejemplo, sería así, where is your, your shoes? Uh -huh. Where eh, is your shoes? Eh, where is your shoes, Maribel? Where is your shoes? Perdón, where are your shoes? Uh -huh. <ríe> ya estoy la bien. novela, la novela. Where are your shoes? Uh -huh. Where are in uh -huh. the bedroom? Eh, under the are, uh -huh. under the bed, el espacio de, uh -huh. el, de la casa y uh -huh. a la par o de uh, yes. uh, Ok, esa, esa no la había entendido. Ok, yes. esas serían sus seis respuestas, ¿verdad? Luego Danilo le va a preguntar a usted. Mm. Ok, y vice versa, ok. Ah, entonces vamos un 30%. <laughs> oh, estamos bien. We are good, we are good. Let's continue.
Uy, quizás se salió esta cosa. Okay, guys, we are going to start with the presentations, right? Let's go with the first group that is. Okay, veamos Astrid, Gladys, and Meredith. Are you ready? Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Let's start. Okay. Um, where's uh, Meredy? Where's your bed? It's in the bedroom. It's next to the TV, the, the bedroom. Okay. Where where are your clothes? They are outside the closet. It's next to the bed. Okay. Where is your sofa? It's my sofa living room. It's in front to the table. Where is your the computer? It is on the table. It is in front of the TV. Okay. Where is your coffee maker? Uh, my coffee maker is on the table. Uh, the it's it's next to the cook. Okay. Where where is your desk? It is next to the sofa. It is behind the door. Okay. Um, Where is your refrigerator? It is next to cook. It is uh, near the, the, the bathroom. <laughs> okay, yes, three. <laughs> In this That's it. Ok, solo tengamos cuidado les, con next to, right? Next to, no decimos next of, es next to. Ok? Next to. Next to. Next to. Ok, guys, it's almost time. It's time for you to go and complete quiz number 14, if I'm not wrong. Estamos en el quiz número 14. Let's go there and... Uh, Unit three, unit yes. three. Unit three, yes. Quiz ah, okay. no, 14. Very easy, very easy. <laughs> Vamos yes. a quiz. Yes, right now, please. Mientras paso Teacher, de... for me, eh, ¿Hm? me voy a salir porque no traje mi cargador y a mi computadora. Si, se, si me salgo es porque ya no tengo carga. Oh, ok, es que ok. Ok, no problem, no problem. Voy a tratar de estar lo más... Ok, solo paso la asistencia, entonces, Daniel, me pareció ver a Daniel por ahí. Daniel, Daniel, no. Ok. Veamos, eh, Cintia, no, Danilo, yes, Gladys Chamilet. Gladys Chamilet, no. Gladys, Guadalupe del Carmen, si la vi. Carla, por ahí, recuerdo que había Carla. No, se me fue Carla. Carla. Ok, veamos Catherine Merali. Bien. No, no, no vino Catherine. Luz de María. Luz de María is here. Let's see, no. Meredith, mm -mm. yes. Oscar, creo que no vino Oscar ahora. Creo que este enchufe no sirve. Reina Guadalupe. Reina Guadalupe. Reina Guadalupe está. Ahí está atendiendo. Guadalupe Juárez, ahí está. Ok. Thank you. Ok, hoy nos quedamos con Meredith, right? Ok, teacher. Ok. 
You can do it, Melody. You can do it. <laughs> Thank you. I present, teacher. I present. Okay, got it, got it. I, I wrote your, your attendance. I changed your attendance. Okay, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Bye. Champagne del bueno. <laughs> ¿Y es una canción o qué? What's that? Ya se nos fue el champán. Ok, me voy a quedar entonces con Meredith. And I hope to see you tomorrow, guys. Have a good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, Meredith. See you. Okay. Eh, vamos a empezar en Meredith. No sé si tendrá alguna duda de, por ejemplo, alguna actividad que hemos hecho, algún tema. Arabella en Silvia. No sé si ya terminaron, Danilo. Yes. Mm -hmm. You can leave the class. Okay. I hope to see you tomorrow. Okay, bye, teacher. Bye, bye. Have a good night. See you. See you, Arabella. See you, Danilo. Ok, Meredith, estamos... Okay, uh, yes, uh, una pregunta. Uh -huh. De tema de, las, de los adjetivos posesivos. Ah, los adjetivos posesivos, ajá. Este, vaya. Cuando utilizamos el your... Uh -huh. Para su. Uh -huh. Pero dijo de que Yur solo se utilizaba en eh, para los sujetos de sería we. Oui? No. Right. Primero en los sujetos. ¿Son cuáles son los sujetos, sí. Meredith? I. I. You. Uh -huh. You. Uh -huh. y, y. Uh -huh. It, we, uh -huh. they. they. Entonces, de acuerdo al sujeto que usted tenga, va a utilizar el posesivo. Por ejemplo, el posesivo de I es. Um, no. Sí, no. <risa> Sería I. Ah, my. Posesivo de you. You es your. Your. Ok. okay. El de he. He es sí. Sí. Sería his. Uh -huh. El de she. Sí. Her. Uh -huh. El de it. 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 It's. It. Y el de we. Sería Ay, our. Our. Y el de they sería. The day. Your. No. Their. No. They. Uh -huh. Entonces, de acuerdo al sujeto que usted tenga, usted va a utilizar el posesivo. Ok. Uh -huh. de, en, de, eh, otra, otra, otra pregunta es para los verbos. Ajá. De, vaya, cuando termina, si estoy en lo correcto. Ajá. CH. Ajá. Es, uh -huh. Para los que terminan en Y, ahí tengo duda. Porque. Los que, ajá. Ajá. No sé. De Y en algunos se cambia. Por I ¿Sí? latina. Sí. Así es, eh, pero en otros, ¿no? No en todos o sí. No en todos, dependiendo de, de la terminación del verbo. Ya le voy a mostrar. Déjenme ver. Encuentro en la... Por ejemplo, study el más es solo ES. No. 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 Ahí está. Solo déjenme ver si me encuentro en parte. Porque si se los se les dio, les dio una tablita. Aquí está. Aquí está la tabla, mire. Vaya, si el verbo, por ejemplo, termina. Eh, 
si el verbo me preguntaba por la Y, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes. nos dice, if a verb ends in a consonant followed by Y, change the Y to IE. Entonces, ¿qué nos está diciendo esto? Si un verbo termina en una consonante, en este caso la R es consonante, más la Y, vamos a cambiarla por I, I, S. ¿Mm? Por ejemplo, el verbo study, ¿será que termina en consonante más Y? Sí. ¿Cuál sería la consonante ahí? La consonante sería la D. Ajá, y la Y, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí sí, sí aplicaría. Pero en el caso del verbo, veamos, hay un verbo, hay un par, ver, ver, aquí está el verbo. Si un verbo termina con una vocal, por ejemplo, más la Y, solo le vamos a agregar la S. La S. Uh -huh. mm, o sea que si tengo dos consonantes al final. Ahí sí, una sí. consonante, si es, con solo que tengamos una consonante. Ajá, una consonante más Y. Uh -huh. Así es. Se cambiaría la, la Y por I. y más Se cambiaría, y ajá, exacto. Ajá. Así sería. Así sería. No sé si tenga otra duda. Eh, de ahí el... Ajá. ¿Qué más? Eh, bueno, más que todo eso, no me había quedado muy claro. Uh -huh. okay. De ahí de los, de, cuando mencionó los, el what más do y those. Para pregunta. Más, uh -huh. Ajá, para uh -huh. pregunta. Dependiendo, si es do sería I, you, we y they. Y si es does sería he, she o it. Ajá, eso, para do, los sujetos, eh, sujetos. Por ejemplo, ¿hay? what does she do in the morning? ¿Qué es lo que hace en la mañana? The morning. Okay. Okay. In the si tenemos acá he, she o it, vamos a utilizar das. Pero si tenemos, por ejemplo, you, vamos a utilizar el do, right? What do you do in the morning? Ajá, solo uh -huh. para she, he, it, uh -huh. también. Sería das. Das. Uh -huh. Caso contrario, do. Caso contrario, do, así es. You, we, y they. Uh -huh. Do. Mm, sí. Este, lo otro, uh -huh. los adverbios de frecuencia. Ah, frequency adverbs. Uh -huh. Yes. Eh, the sometimes, al inicio, en final. Eh, al inicio puede ir sometimes, eh, después del sujeto y al final de la oración. Por ejemplo, sometimes... Sometimes I go to church. Lo podemos utilizar. I sometimes go to go to church. And also lo podemos utilizar. I go to church sometimes. En el caso de Ofe. El mismo caso. La misma. Uh -huh. Entonces sería, son tres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Tres. Sometimes, often, and usually. Okay. Esos son los que aplica la regla. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Cuáles son los otros? Never. Ajá, never, really. Rarely. R rar, ¿Cómo es? <ríe> Rarely. 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 Uh -huh. And always. Always. Uh -huh. Always. Uh -huh. 
se puede utilizar en medio. Oh, no. Solo en medio. Solo después del, del, del sujeto o antes del verbo. Mm. Uh -huh. Antes del verbo. Y... Antes del verbo va a ir. Solo va, es, con eso quedémonos, pero va a ir antes del verbo. Uh -huh. Y esa es la misma regla para never y rarely. Sí. Ok. Uh -huh. Así es. And that's it. Ok, that's it. Meredith la dejó descansar entonces. Have a good night. Okay. Thank you, teacher. To you, take care. Yeah. Bye bye.